I have my diced up bread. I'm going to add three cups of milk. Maybe two and a half. And now I'm going to soak, pour my bread into the milk so that it can soak. Okay. Now I'm going to add three fourths of sugar. This box don't want to open for me. I'm going to add three eggs. Sorry, Shell got in here. One teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm going to add some pudding. Okay, mix this well. I like doing experiment things, like adding adding stuff to my recipe. That's just me. Well, maybe I need to add another half a cup. Gonna get up in there and soak. Let it soak. Okay, now I'm gonna finish mixing this up, and I'm going to start transferring. my mix into this. Okay, now I'm gonna get it all in there. Something else I'm going to add. I'm going to add some cinnamon and nutmeg. Mm-hmm, sure is. Okay. My cinnamon and my nutmeg. I'm just going to use a little bit of nutmeg. Okay. I'm just going to fold it in there. See that? And now, I'm going to transfer it into my dish. I'm going to pour this in here. Ooh. This to the side. I'm just going to add a little bit more cinnamon for the top. Okay. Now I'm going to slice down a banana. Put them on top.
Now I'm going to cut up some camels. I used to tear these things up back in the day. And I still do. Put them in there. Open up another one. Mmm. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Plus, I added some French vanilla pudding. I like to experiment. Ooh. Cut this one down. Open up some more. I can't use them all. I'm going to put the rest of these on top. My oven is already preheated to 350. And I'm going to bake my banana bread pudding with all this extra sweets for about 30 to 40 minutes. And I'll be back. Okay, my banana bread pudding is out of the oven. So now I'm going to do a test taste. Smoking hot, Mama Mia. It's hot, y'all. Hope it's good. Let me get some of that caramel, banana. Mmm. This is good. Moist, soft. Plus, I add that French vanilla um, pudding in there. Mmm. Hot. But it's good.